as you must by now realise, none of these videos are actually professionally filmed and um, we are doing our best. So uh, anyway, I'm going to um, talk a little bit today about the uh, colours that we did recently um, at our last retreat um, on this lovely Mancaster Oranges design. This is a 19th century design and these rather exciting colours coming in. Um, I think are rather gorgeous on these spot motifs. So a spot motif is the design just all by itself. Now I'm holding a little um, laying tool that a friend made for me and I don't use it, but it's very good for pointing. So um, I'm going to show you just how, one or two mistakes I've made on this, which are that the stalk here should go to the center of the end of all that soft shading. And um, if you look at the difference between the two uh, designs, um, everybody's uh, result will look very different. And I think this is the rather charming thing about cruel work, um, that I don't want you to come out with an identical design to mine. I'd like you to change it. And you can see that the depth of colour, in some cases I've used two cut shades of one colour, and I think it's a little lighter on that one than this one. So uh, the big discussion on the retreat was, did we like the pink bows? And nobody does, but I do. I think that um, orange and pink are rather cool. I think that, uh, that brings out the 80s vibe in things. And this is the um, used uh, colour range that has produced this design. So you can see I've got lots and lots of leftover wool. And I'm going to um, have a course later on in a few weeks time about how to use up your stash. So please keep this looking gorgeous on its uh, sticky back. If you've got one of my designs, just treasure that wool because it's really valuable at the moment. Um, so on the retreat, lovely Kate Barlow suggested that we um, stitch the colour rather like her dress. Well, I came out, I found the same colour, but it was much darker than her dress. So Kate, I apologise, I've got slightly the wrong colour. And as you can see, this is rather severe. Um, and it rather knocks back the importance of this gorgeous orange, which is such a glamorous and unusual colour in cool work that uh, I wanted to treasure it. So I'm not going to pull that out, any of this colour. I'm actually going to add some blues into this ribbon so that it just has a more sympathetic vibe. And I could even go as pale as these 154s or the, um, that was 921, this one. I could even put that in um, and I could either shade it in patches, just long and short, like working the middle colour of long and short to, to create a bit of a ripple in it, or just go down as I have with a cool stem stitch in lines. And you can see this one has got a much more um, subtle look to it than this blocky thing. So just beware of blocking colours like that and just keep the softness of the subtlety and the beautiful colours in the cool work. 